Skold brothers, we have since conquered Varchek, and our name now echoes throughout the land as conqueror and liberator. There is still yet more dogs to put down. The Vlandians have land that is Sturgian, and we have strong arms that need to swing axes and swords. We set for a castle, and then our people's land will finally be united again. Let us march on. My wife had a child. Look at that. I know what I'm going to call you. It's easy to me. Bjorn. That's my firstborn. Now we're heading over here to Ustakol Castle. We conquered Varchag, and she gave birth. Now that's pretty cool. Maybe if I conquer another major location, we'll have another child. I've been waiting for a son for quite some time. But now, let us focus on the matter at hand. It is currently 1090, and I've had my first child. Alexander, you've got too many men under your command. You too, Harold. They have got to be winning battles, and look at my income. Wow, that shot up big time. Let's have a look at it real quick. There's my Tanner and Tyal. Now that is making a lot of money. Rotai has my brewer. 484. Epicritea. 417 for my other brewer. And my wool weaver is not making nearly as much, but that is okay. That Tanner is very lucrative. Okay, here we go. We can finally take a new castle. That last battle was really bloody, but I can't stop yet. We're not giving up yet. We have no need to give up. It's only a castle, so what are we going to do about a castle? Well, let's build up Fire Onagers. After that, I'll build up a Battering Ram, too. Yeah, I like the idea of that. A good Battering Ram. Now, let us commence. Now begins a glorious siege for Ustakol Castle. Look at our banners. I like it whenever only my elites can have them. It lets you know, hey, we've got some quality over here. It's a very snowy beginning. I like that. Plenty of shields out. There's my horse raiders. I've got a few of them in my army. But I'm going to use my bow again. I have been loving my bow so very much. I've been able to stack up a lot more kills thanks to it. I'm not having to wait to get into the walls I can kill now. I can bring the point to them. I wonder, can I hit that guy way up there? That was very close. I'm going to try to correct it slightly. Oh, nope. That veered off. I saw where that veered off a little bit. Let's go a little bit higher. Got him right in the head. And he's dead. <laughs> no ballista for you. Another guy will take his place, but I'll just kill him as well. I wonder, could I hit another one? My issue is that I've got to actually mark one shot as my testing shot. Now, that was very close to him. A little bit higher then. Oh, too high that time. Yeah, these guys are a little bit higher, but I'm still going to try to kill them. Because I don't want Ballista hitting my people. Too dead. Alright, there's another guy that I want to kill. After that, we can disband our army and go hunting for Vlandian lords. That'll be a good use of my time. I see you, dog. Oh, way too low. Got to elevate it a little bit more than that. Oh, and he is dead. How many more do I need to disable? Until you learn your lesson, old man. Are you guys okay? Oh, you had Vlandy and Booze, no wonder. They probably had the runs. I told them not to. But everyone gets curious. They're like, it can't be that bad. It's not my Booze. It's probably that bad. Another Militia Archer killed. Let's kill him too. I've got 19 arrows left. 18. One guy is crawling up. Now if I go up, that might be a bit too dangerous for me. Now what are you doing? Okay. I'm gonna hit him now. Right in the shoulder. Come on. I wanna make sure he's dead. That was right in the chest. Another hit. And he's dead. That was a Sturgeon Archer. Do they have anyone inside? I've got to wonder. Let's find out. Let me go through the middle of my battering ram. There we go. I don't see anyone up here. Okay. All right, men, break it down. Arnolf, you're here. Oghar, too. Owen, wow, all of you are here. Now look at what we can do while they're all fighting. We can just take aim. 
and enjoy ourselves a little bit, you know? Get some target practice in. I never get to just enjoy myself. It's like a freaking vacation. Now, third person aiming, I'll have to get used to. That is definitely different. But it's working out, I think, largely. I prefer first person, for sure. Oh, okay. It's over for all of them. Never mind. There's not a lot left over here. Just cut them down. Every single one of them, and we can move on to another enemy. Poor recruits. They've held on to lands that they might even consider theirs. I mean, my people have been under the rule of uh, Vlandians for years. It'll take years to get that taint away from them. They'll be like, oh, we don't have to be weak? You don't have to be weak, my friends. Oh, that was a wonderful hit. Good job. I'm gonna kill a few more peasants with my bow and arrow. One more to go. And that's a lot of kills today. Holy cow. There's a lot of you over there. Don't hit me. Oh, he tried it. I got him first. I'm hitting so many. I got him too. Hold on, I'm moving in. Another militia archer killed. They're just grouping at a few people who are trying to get through. And that is okay to do. I've got my shield, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Three killed. My god. In the very beginning, it was a very slow start for this campaign, but now, it is incredible. Every battle is so much fun to fight. I've got so many tools that I can use to kill my foes. And the battle is now over. We have taken the castle. And I've got unlimited bodies on, which makes it even more immersive. I get to watch what I've done. Let's see, where are they going? Oh, guys, no, what, what are you doing? Please! They're evidently just trying to kill a few, but they're all getting killed or knocked out by falling. You livings! Okay. We might have to retreat. <laughs> or are they only being knocked out? If they're only being knocked out, it's not a big deal. I think they're only being knocked out. So, that works out. Let me go knock out that guy, and we can get out of this battlefield before my entire army gets knocked out. Infantry! Actually, hold on. Everyone, just all of you. Move. move over here. Just go away. You don't need to be there. <laughs> I had to let it happen for just a little bit because it was just too goofy. All right, so where's this guy at? Oh, there you are. Okay. Do we have another one to kill? I think we do. I just don't know where. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. I'll take care of it. There's two of them. Oh, okay. Getting fancy. Oh, dropped down too low. My bad. One peasant dead. That was really too funny. We're not going to talk about that. I'm just going to tell my men I saw nothing. Go drink and shut up. No one needs to know. We'll kill them if they know what happened here at the castle. The more important part is we won. All right, so only 37 died, 83 wounded, 3 fled. I got 42 kills, man. Look at my skills just elevate. That's my one-handed skill. I've got my bow skill going up by four. Oghar got four kills. Vilkar, four kills. Owen, five kills. Helgi, six kills. Freya, eight kills. And my wife, who just gave birth, she wasn't out there getting kills, I suppose. That's fine. We've even got a few Druzhenik. And I'll take all of your prisoners now. Can I upgrade anyone in my... Well, let's sort. Upgrade anyone in my party. I can. Eight troops total. And there's a few who have branching paths. Give me more infantry. All right. Who do I want to hire? Here's a soldier. I'll hire you. I'll only hire people of my own culture. No Vlandians allowed, man. If I ever do that, and I might do it one day, here's what I'll do. I'm going to put them into one group. They're going to be fodder. I'll send them charging in. Then they die for me. They'll have to. We took it. That castle belongs to me now. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right. Elbet, I don't care what your needs are. Who's getting it? I don't care. Vildor. They give him so many lands. Wait, hold on. I forgot about that one. Let's go over here to the kingdom. There's only one clan holder that I do not like at all. Let's see. Who has zero? 
Why do you have zero? I should... I'm going to vote for you next time. You should have at least one, because if you leave, that's a lot of vassals gone. But you, you shouldn't be here. Kick them out. No Imperials allowed. Get them out. Good. <laughs> I've used my influence to get rid of Imperials once again. They're not going to taint my lands. Oh, hold on. That would be a garrison. I don't want to lose my entire army. But for a prisoner, they can have many. There we are. Perfect. Perfect indeed. Let's go over here to our kingdom. And have a look around. Vlandia has been lowered in power. Now I just need to go look at some policies. Uh, let's see. What's over here? Daily militia production has increased by one. I've got to find things that have high support. That's how I keep high relations with a lot of people. Ooh, I do have a pretty decent charm. 100 influence. And look at that. By six every time. They just like me a lot because of it. Okay. Of course, they don't like things that I like. Things that benefit our people. Thought I had that before, but I'll get it again. Council of Commons. To give us all much more influence. A lot more influence. So now we're getting how many? 36. Perfect. Perfect indeed. So where do we get to go now? We're going to rest up. I'm going to go back to town, probably to Varcheg. And we can begin to conquer other areas. Now, Legetta would be closer to my lands. So I think we'll go after that, or we could come over here to Carb and Seth and conquer a former Batanian town. Yeah, we'll do that instead. Look who's over here, Lucan. We're just passing by. I'll be talking to you later, Lucan. Alright, let's head on over. If there's anyone that I'm going to kill, it could be the leading family of Landia. I feel like that would be proper vengeance. Oh, whoa! Okay, there's a large battle happening over here. They won. I was hoping that I could help out, but they don't need my help. Instead, I'll conquer that town. There's only so many defenders, which means I can do it. Besiege again. Yeah, sneaking in is not going to happen while I have so many men with me. Alright, men, I want all 300 of you to follow me. It would be cool, though, if you could like do a Trojan horse type of scenario once. Only once. It would be a legendary event that happens only once. Alright, I'll take all of my tools. That too. We're going to build up our trebuchets, then we'll go right on in. They have no food. They do have a garrison. Okay. I'm looking at it now. Is it powerful? They've got heroes. Oh, here's an army. The Jawal. Traitors. Dude, did someone like shave off a bit of your chin? Like what? Can you tell me what happened here? Because I'm very concerned for you and you're my foe. All right, forget about it. We're going to fight, Nadir. We're fighting how many? 490. Outnumbered? I like those odds. We have got to move quickly now. All right, groups Arthur. one and two. Dismount if we have Dismount. any lords. All right, so they're right over there. Infect That's not going to be easy. I want all of you to form a square formation. Square yeah, do that for us. Oh, Archers, you're going to be over here. Forward. But I want you in a loose Stand formation. Much better. All right, that should help out a decent amount. And group number four. I'm going to transfer you into group three. There we go. They're charging in. We're outnumbered. We're playing on a much harder difficulty, and because of that, I'm going to lose a lot of men. They have a lot of horsemen. Those horsemen will charge in repetitiously, scoring many kills whenever we're in the middle of a very difficult fight. Get out the way. Get out the way. Come on. Move horse. There they are. Okay. Fall back. I want you to fall back too. Group three. Move back. Fall back to here. Infantry, I want you about here. Distract them for a minute. Then we'll turn back and kill a lot more of them. Perfect. Now score those kills. Very nice work. We're getting a lot of kills. There's all of my infantry. Charge in, boys. Just go in. Let them encircle my square formation. That might be the better route to go. Archers, move back just a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? 
I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but we're going to try it out and see where it goes. Because if I can use my archers to hit... Oh, God. That's too many. Hold on. Way too many. I'm just going to pull out my bow real quick. I would have brought out my two-handed weapon, but I can't get knocked out. I can't afford to get knocked out. And sometimes, whenever I'm using that, I get knocked out. Ooh, that was a missile attack on me. All right. Now my infantry can charge out. They are surrounded, but they're going to fight their way out, hopefully. While I have a bunch of archers killing them. They're gunning for me again. They're waiting to swing. Back off, kids. Oh, he got me. All right, if I turn off to the side, my archers can help out. Very nice. Let me tell you, his battle could have easily gone the other way. Very easily. There's a lot of fights lately that have been very close. But because of that, I've enjoyed them heavily. Yeah, they had a lot of elites here. Not all recruits for once, huh? <laughs> Siga just got a kill. Good job, Siga. I haven't seen you for a bit, dear. I love all my dairies. Like Owen, Siga, all of them. We've got Servic. He's been knocked out. Okay, we've won. Ah, oh, hell. That was not easy. That square formation did it. A shield wall would not have done it. Why? They had more infantry, more horsemen. They would have easily just broken through one side of my line. Whereas here, we had one square formation. We were all consolidated into one block. When you consolidate like that, they have a harder time trying to overwhelm you. All right. 62 dead. 95 wounded. Over here, we took out 488. They have 323 dead, 165 wounded. One got away, or two. All right. Ankar got seven kills. Helgi, seven kills. Vilkar, five kills. Vlad, two kills. Good job, man. Vala got six kills total. I got four kills. I did not get a lot. I had to command. I really had to command, or we were going to die in that battle. Oh, that was not easy. Okay. You are my prisoner now. You too, Ospir. And evidently some Vlandian family joined us. I'm probably going to vote to kick them out. I'll take Batanians. I'm not going to take freaking Vlandians or Imperials. I'll take Kuzait, Azurai, any of them. They're fine too. All right, let's upgrade all of our troops. 15 upgraded. 15! Give me more Berserkers. I want to win in melee. There's a Forest Bandit. I don't have that trait yet. I'm trying to get to 125 to where I can get a few more heroes, a few more champions from Batania. All right. We always need more infantry. Always, always, always. All right, let's have a look now. Actually, looters, come join me because I can use you as fodder. Oh, yeah. That means I'm going to put you into group number eight. A bunch of heavy cav. Little did we know they were heavy cav. All right, let's go take a few trained soldiers. Yeah, I'll take those. We got... Actually, mercenaries could work out. A veteran oath keeper. Very nice. A puppeteer. Recruits. Hidden pawns, hidden hands. Champion vanguard. I got their lords. Here's a few chosen. <laughs> He's like, check out my legs! Hey, man, you've been skipping leg day. Calm down. Wearing a giant puby robe. What a nasty guy. All right. We've got 43, 47 total. What else do I need? Oh, there's so much that I need. Master archers, heavy cav. Now, I'll take a few Azrai horsemen. I can supplement my own horsemen with their horsemen. I don't mind doing that. That's pretty cool looking. That's a thick guy. That poor camel. Having to do so much work. All right, let's see. Tier 4, that's Tier 5. I'll just grab a few more. It doesn't really matter too much. If I miss out on, like, a few extra points, it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't. If it did, then I would be more concerned about it. But because it doesn't, you shouldn't be worried either. All right, let's see. What's over here? That's Tier 4. Sure. That puts me a little bit closer to where I need to be. All right. And we're good. 
Now that was nasty. I wonder if I can still commence with a siege battle. I might not be able to because of how many we lost. I mean, I think I can. We should heal up a little bit by the time we're ready to fight that battle. Let's go look at my character real quick. Ooh, finally. 2% more hit points. Perfect. I can move faster. Yeah, I picked up over here long strides. Halves the weight effect of shields on movement speed in combat. So if I want to move faster in the future, I'll need to get rid of my shield. But that cuts it in half. Nice. Very nice. I'm trying to level up my one-handed skill. Later, I'll switch it up. But for now, I want to get to like 100. Ooh, 8% more damage. And I already deal so much damage. My two-handed skill will take some time. Oh, yeah. That'll take a little bit of time. 10% more damage against shields or morale loss. I'll, mm, I'll take the shield breaking, I think. I'm not worried about foes leaving or whatever. All right, let's see. We're good. Just got to upgrade a few people. Can upgrade you. <laughs> That's a lot of prisoners. All right, let's get ready now. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to leave here and potentially pick up more parties. Because right now, my men are hurt. I have pushed them really hard. We took one city, then we took another castle, then we fought a field battle. They need a break, you know. All right, who am I going to call in? What now? What's over here? Let's have a look. Okay, settlement loyalty is increased by two per day. Production reduced by 5%. I don't like that at all. We don't need more loyalty. I've got plenty, my friends. Yeah, get rid of that. Now here's what we're going to do. As my charm skill goes up, we're going to call on a few more people to come join us. Who can I call in? Radagost and Nywin. Ah, Batanians. Yeah, come join me. I could use your help. What about Trader Vlandians? Nah. 11 hours. Okay, you're not too far away. After they're here, hopefully they do make it here just fine. Then we can go after that city, or actually, let's see. A castle would be easier, and it would still help out. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, Harold, you were captured again. I'll have to go pick him up later. Check that out. 112.78. They're beginning to rally together. Yeah, a castle would be easier. Only 91 defenders. We can do that. Let's go do that right now. All right, so what am I going to build for that? I mean, I don't need to build too much. I don't want to take up too much time, so we'll just build some siege towers and a battering ram. Then we'll charge right in. That's what I'm talking about. Now, that's a proper army. He's able to lead a lot of men. That was pretty impressive. All right. Let's have a look over here. I'm going to promote those who I can. Those who want to join me, I suppose I'll let you join me. Batanian, you too. Flandians? <laughs> uh, no. No, that will not happen. Alright, so we're about to be in the year 1091. It always feels like once I get to 1090, that's when things really begin to pick up. Oh, look who it is! A king! 500 men. Is he going to rally more? Maybe he should. I still have many who are wounded. I do. Alright. Let's increase cohesion. Now, before we charge in, let's have a look at who we can pick up. I can lead up to 245. Nothing to sneeze at. Achoo. There's a camel rider. Yep, you know what? I'll let you come fight for me. Perfect. Alright. It's time to take a very tiny castle. Watch them kill like 200 of my men. That would be hilarious and legendary of them. But I don't actually want that. No. Whoa, what a cool castle. I've not been here in a very long time. Or maybe I've never besieged that castle in particular. It could have been my allies before who did it. Now let's wait a minute while we have all of our soldiers get in. Yeah, we do have a hero. Oh, man. That could not be easy. There's a bridge. We've got siege towers, but they're going to have to lead over here, huh? Yeah. I wonder if it's going to slow us down when we move through that water and mud. Holy crap. 
I suppose we do have more archers. Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, I meant to hit that guy. 41 damage delivered. 41 again. I'm consistent. Whoa, that's a lot. Don't aim at me. All right. You can see how many bolts are flying towards them. No wonder they're dying quickly. Yeah, there's just no way to hold on whenever you're that outnumbered. There's just too many bolts. It's way too dangerous. You can't get ahead. It's not viable. It is impossible. All right, I'm going to move over here real quick. Just got a few more kills I can get with my bow. They might kill them all by the time I'm over here, though. Dang. Headshot. Got him, too. Oh, my God. That was really close to me. I'm glad that did not hit me. That was a pikeman I just killed. I'm getting some decent kills. No, I love archery now. I'm certainly enjoying it a lot. We've gone so many parts without really using it. So I feel okay with actually trying it out now. Right, he's dead too. Now being able to hold on to my aim for a period of time helps me get more headshots. I'm already a pretty quick shot. Oh, there's one. Oh, I see you now. Crap, crap, crap. All right, let's see. 35 damage delivered. 35 again. Uh oh, come on, get up. That was too high. That wasn't good enough. All right, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I keep messing up my shots. Got him that time, okay. Now I feel better about my life. He's pushing me, oh, no wonder. <laughs> I was like, why am I moving? Okay. Don't worry, you won't have very many to kill by the time you land up there, friends. All right, there's that guy there too, but, oh, you're not dead, surprisingly. That banner got in my way. Come on, pick up again. Get over here. Ah, whatever. Feels good. Now we've got a few Batanians to fight by. The more Batanians who join us, the better. I will be kicking out more Vlandians, but Batanians, I'll keep inside. Absolutely. They're a proud warrior people. They can fight with me any day. There's not a lot of them. All right, pulling out my blade now. What a tiny castle, but I love it though. I love the overall design. It is a very interesting and nuanced place. If you could stagger and layer your overall defenses, oh, you could do so much here. Oh, he's dead. Not too many who are left. There's three over here. They're gunning for me, huh? All right, here's what we'll do. Let me try to get one of them. Back off. Ooh, that was a nice poke. Good poking. All right, he's dead. There's only one left. He's running away. Will he make it? Well, hell no, not now. Extra damage from perks, 12. That extra damage makes a big difference. All right. We've taken another castle. And it wasn't too difficult either. Oh yeah, check that out. That's the front gate. So you could really layer things up. You would need to destroy the siege towers. Then just fight here. Have them come in, start shooting down at them. Oh, Bowman will get so many kills. I can picture it right now. I got 20 kills in one battle. Let's see, Vali got one kill. No one's going to get a lot of kills in a, in a fight like that. That was just meant to be a minor fight. Just so that we could take land from them. All right, I'll take their prisoners. Whoever I can upgrade, just upgrade. Looter, no. I'm going to put you into their garrison. Yeah, that was a very small battle. I'll take your loot because I've got to smelt it down later. Well, it's not very good loot. Only very good loot is worthwhile if you want to make good gear, so... I don't need iron or things like that anymore. Okay, donate troops to garrison. Let's see, where are my looters at? There they are. Then to the dungeon. Well, before we go to the dungeon, we need to go vote on who's going to own it. You deserve it, buddy. 
I put in all my points. 12 skill points and charm. Holy crap. Alright, so now I do need more influence. I usually don't, but I'm trying to ensure that other factions love me. Perfect. Back up to 659. I gained 37 per day. Alright. Let's go chase after their lord. 515 that we need to fight. No break time. Grab a mead. Let's go. 3.2. What is mine at? Only 3.0? Shoot. A little bit slower. Got a few people on foot. Me and the Batanians. Always fighting on foot, you know. Another open field. Well, that doesn't work to my advantage, but I'll have to make do, won't Archers! I? Archers go skirmish. Infantry, move up. Horsemen, move over there to the left flank. I'll call you when the time is right. The time is not now. I did purchase a 1440p screen. It should be here maybe in four to five days, hopefully sooner. I'm only bringing that up because it means I'll finally be able to record 1440p quality videos, which means every video will be much more crisp and clear, especially for a high motion game like Bannerlord. All right, there they are. My men are moving up, good. It'll be a much more traditional battle. Now I've got to find a proper location to command from. Oh, there's a lot of them, my God. What a large army. Let's see what we can do today. Form up over there. Lose formation. You got it. Okay, my own horsemen. You're waiting there. Can you move back a bit? Move back a bit. I don't want their archers hitting you either. Ivan could kill my friend. That's my buddy Ivan. Now, while I'm here... Let's see how many kills I can pick up. Oh dear. I think it's a lot today. I think we're going to get a decent amount. Whether I'm wounding or not, it doesn't really matter to me. Throwing knives? Who the hell is throwing knives at me? A mercenary? What the hell? Huh. Charge in, all of you. Archers move back a little bit. We'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. All right, that should make a big difference. There goes my men, they're charging in. And I just wanna get some hits while I'm waiting over here. That was a nice hit. Hits one in the head, I think. Close to it, doesn't matter. Whoa, whoa, hold on now, I'm commanding. Don't get me involved. Dear God, they're falling apart. Okay, horsemen, I want all of you over here. Move there now, move over there now. Because we need to go after archers. Archers are much nastier. Don't worry about the infantry part. I'll worry about the infantry part. All right, I'll just need to get them to charge in again. Go in. Hopefully, they'll go after the archers from behind. Either way, they're charging. Archers, you know how to handle things. Hey, back off. Get away from me. Oh, he got me. That was a good gut stab. Someone cut him down for me. That's good. We completely butchered that army. And the king has fallen again. <laughs> ah, king. You'll never win, will you? We Sturgians are way too powerful. And we're uniting with Batanians. You have wronged them. You have wronged our people. And so now you will be punished. I like that little tune there. It's nice. <laughs> that was really cool, guys. Holy crap. I'm loving this campaign because of how emphatic we are when it comes to the utter destruction of our enemies. Tactically, they are outwitted. In terms of martial skill and prowess, they are overpowered. Right over here is where they lost a lot. I brought in the horsemen. Those horsemen did a wonderful job. Oh my God. The pile of bodies. I lost how many? 64 total. Okay, let's have a look. We got a lot of kills. Vlad, Vlad, eight kills. Helgi, six kills. Freya, five kills. Owen, four kills. Vala, two kills. And me, three kills. Again, whenever I've got to command, I can't focus on getting kills. I've got to focus on commanding. Pathetic. You belong to me. How many prisoners can I hold? Not that many. Okay. Well, we've got to be careful. We've got to be mindful then. I wish I could sort them out by quality. Ooh, did I just do that? 
<laughs> if I did, then great. Yeah, I'm taking all these guys over here. Sure. No, not completely. Who else do we have? We've got 63 currently. I'll take a few more of them. And no, I can't wait. I cannot wait to have better quality. Man, those screens are not cheap, but thanks to Patreon support, I can finally upgrade a lot of things. Got my editing PC, which means once I have 1440p, even though it'll take longer to edit, process, and render, and to even upload, I'll be able to keep on recording because it'll be over there on my other PC doing its job. All right, what else do we have over here? No, I just wanted to let all of you know what was up with that and how that's going to highly benefit me. That's a watchman. Not really that important. The tribal warrior. Again, not important. We've got over here, let's see, a few more boys to worry about. A lot of them are tier five, so I need to go for tier three. Boom, boom. Tier three. All right. I only need to get rid of one more. We're going to take you. You're tier two. I'm over my limit. Oh, hold on. My bad. Sorry. I meant one more. <laughs> yeah, he's tier two as well. Now we can go. Doesn't matter if I don't get everyone up a high tier. You can imagine how long that would take. I know sometimes people want me to min max every little thing possible, but there's no need for that because it does cost me time. I would have to sit here and look through all of them and make sure I only have tier five or whatever. And that would take way too long. And that would be fun to watch. Well, I suppose I could move that one over there. No, no, I'm not going to do that. It's not for me. Maybe for some people, if they get a kick out of that, sure, no problem. No judgment here, but personally, I'm about the action. I'm a man of action. All right, let's see. For the dungeon. All of you get to go away now. Hold on, not all of you, actually. Let's take a few of these boys back. Let's see. You're a veteran warrior with head and arm. Very good. Ah, the, the freaking puppeteers are throwing knives. Pretty goofy. It's a pretty goofy thing to do. <laughs> all right. Don't really want too many others. The ones I have... Will work out then so I've got my army I've run right through so many of them I'm very happy about our progress so far we have fought so many field battles I'd like to go home and get some more soldiers I think oh there's Caladog Caladog don't remember you very well Munster however you pronounce your name let's see here what do I know of you Oh, you're part of his... Right, right. Okay. See, I was going to try to recruit him. But no, I suppose not. 5,188 gold coming in. Nice. Look at that income. You know what? I'm going to sell you. Don't need you. But that Tanner! That Tanner is actually making me the most money in Tyal. And I've got extra money. What's over here? How many? Right, right. So we've got probably enough juice in the tank for one more major fight. This campaign has been one of the bloodiest ones I've played in quite some time because we haven't stopped. We've only been going on. One step ahead. I wonder if that actually... Oh, dude. If it actually works, if they fixed that perk, that would be amazing. One step ahead. Allows you to place your troops before all battles. If they could let me do that, that would dramatically change up any battle being able to place my units where I want them to go before we even fight that's a superpower man all right it is a major location that means I actually do need to build my trebuchets I will try to watch out for other armies Vlandia has armies everywhere their numbers ugh, they're like Lannisters man they've got coin they've got crossbows and nasty things like that so I've got to be careful. So I'm going to do my best. And unless they bring in a larger army, I'm going to stay here. If only they would sally out. But that would be foolish. That would be very foolish. Reserves. Because if I don't do that, they're just going to shoot it. Ooh. Interesting. Finn Penrayek. Hold on now. Let's go back real quick. I need to know who they are. It's you! Oh my god, it's you! We've got to do something for that chin. I'm going to help him out, man. He's a thick boy. Now, Finnegan, that's a proper man. 30 years old. How old are you? 27? Are you? Oh, okay. Fiorad. <laughs> are these your brothers? Like, 
No, he's just a vassal. Okay, I was wondering because genetically they could not be related to you. That would be interesting if they were. No family members. Very sad. Noble and generous though. Ooh, look at that pommel. Very fancy. Oh, he's got some very high skills. Well, don't worry about it. You've joined the right faction. I like how Batanians are beginning to join me. Oh, hold on. Speaking of, we need to go check on if there's anyone who is not of Batanian descent. Okay, you are. I thought Vlandians joined. Good, they didn't. So we've got three Batanian tribes who have come to join us. Now that is proper unification. We can learn from each other, you know. Learn from our power. Our killing. Killing power. Don't do that to me. We're just waiting here for a brief moment. It's a little breather, a little break, so we can just chat, rap about things a little bit. Who's coming? 526 men. Very well. It is time for another battle. Let's raise up cohesion. Before I go in, what can I do about that? See, if they're not fighting me, they would be fighting our allies. And that is for the button. I need to stop doing that. Can't help it. It's just fun to say. Why are you down there, Olga? I don't understand that one. Huh. Anyway. Everyone's where they need to be. No prisoners need to join me. All right. We only have a few more wounded in my own party. It's about to be nighttime. Who's over there? We've got a raid going on. We've got 319 over here with his army. Hold on. I'm luring them over. They're moving away again. They could easily outnumber me. I'm going to try to draw in maybe another force. Let's see who's close by. If there's anyone close by who would build. No, not really. Outside of Alexander. Alexander's close. Wonderful. I want Alexander to come join me. Oh, now that's a large army. Holy crap. I wish they would combine because that would make for the best siege ever. Now, wouldn't it? They really do have a lot of soldiers. Hold on. Don't kill. Don't you do it. Oh, I swear. If you go. Alexander. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're going in now. Here's a new fight. Alexander, why would you do that? He's like, war, I must kill my own people. All right, fine. Skull brothers, we rally together for a fight that will be a drop in the bucket. These Vlandians know how to breed like rabbits, fight like them too. These Sturgian and Nordic wolves will be unleashed on them soon enough. 